Uh, Chuck Smith had a, well, God used him in a, a great, great way to reach multitudes for Christ. Yeah, he had this heart, uh, you know, of love and compassion that kind of was thinking outside of the box right. and, and was breaking the mold. I mean, the stories told of hippies coming into the church and sitting on the ground with bare feet. And, Dirty, long hair. Yeah, hippies. and the elders telling them to go out. Yeah. And it was Chuck Smith who said, absolutely not. Bring them in, let them sit down. And, uh, and, and he gave them the gospel. Right. And so uh, we have a lot more to say. I'll, we'll go to Mark in a minute, and he could share a little bit of his experience uh, with Calvary Chapel and talk to us a little bit about the hope that is in the gospel when we're burdened by the reality of death. But first, we want to go to a video. Um, this is from Greg Laurie from his film, Lost Boy. Country church on the edge of town. I was being exposed to a whole new world, and I, I went to this church that was overflowing with young people. It was always packed. They were outside. They were in chairs. It, it was like people were sitting in the aisles. Sitting up on the stage around Pastor Chuck. I don't know if there was any kind of fire marshal law back then. <laughs> I just remember when I stepped into the tent at Calvary Chapel, and I heard the music, and I heard the message. And it was a Bible message. It was clear cut. It was different because they spoke it in my language. Calvary Chapel was in the midst of a great revival, reaching out to the disillusioned young people who were searching for meaning, connecting them with Jesus and teaching them the Bible. The Jesus movement was spreading throughout California and across the United States. led by a balding, middle-aged man named Chuck Smith. Chuck had a Bible in his hand and a love in his heart for searching restless young people. And God used him to reach thousands of kids for Christ. God raised up Chuck Smith. He changed his heart. He opened his heart up to kids like me. And he began to have a kind of a church where these young kids, these hippies could come. And, and, and that was really the heart of the Jesus movement. And it was just a few that began to come. But the, the message of Jesus Christ grabbed a hold of their souls. I remember the first time as I was sitting in church and Chuck Smith came out. And you know, everyone up to this point was kind of young and cool and hip. So I thought, this is okay, I like this. You know, this is all of, it's still young people, you know, we're, we're, we have it all together. All of a sudden this adult comes up. Well, I, I didn't like adults. I didn't like teachers. I didn't like authority figures. Here he comes. Most of the kids in those days said you never can trust anybody over 25. That's one of the glorious things that the Lord did is to uh, help me to cross that generation barrier that did exist and to communicate to young people. He sat in this little stool and he just opened up his Bible and I, I remember his smile. He just sort of beamed when he smiled and I thought, seems like a pretty happy guy for an old guy, you know? And, then he began to uh, teach the Bible, and what amazed me was I understood what he was saying. Jesus is Lord. He's working in a mighty way by His Spirit, and all you have to do is receive Jesus into your heart as Lord and Savior, and He will do the rest. It was logical. It made sense to me. It, it, it spoke to me where I was at, and I was learning things about God I'd never known before. So my attitude toward Him changed immediately, and I thought, I actually like this guy.